It was originally a song title. We were just kind of thinking like our favorite venue was Mishawaka, right? That was where we saw our first and favorite band. Just like the, the Whitewater rushing by the stage, backstage at Mish, and thought that was pretty cool. And then Ramble was just like kind of a, supposed to be a mixture of forms of music, right? So I was like, hey, Whitewater Ramble. And everyone was like, you know, that should be the name of your group. We didn't have a name for our group. And we thought about it for a little bit and we said, okay, it's, it's Whitewater Ramble. Well, it's, it's going to be recorded and done and mixed by mid-January. -Jan we go into the studio this Sunday night, and they kind of put us in there, lock the doors, and we go long, intense, like 10 and 11 hour sessions. It's an all original album. Uh, it's all of our best original music. Um, and. We've got a lot of really kind of high profile guests. We've got uh, Eric playing some banjo from Hot Butter Rum. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Mullis is going to play some piano and keys on one of our funkier tracks. Um, our, our friend Pete Wall is playing saxophone on the album in a few places. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Grant Gordy from the Grisman Quintet. Or, or Josh Clark. Or Josh Clark from Tea Leaf Green. Our bass player's dad. So, so we, we've got some nice guests. I don't need no sleep to get me where I'm going. It, it's nice because they, they're excited about playing on the record as much as we're excited about having them. And, and the same thing goes for Tim producing it. And it's just uh, it's a very exciting process for us. We know nothing about it. And Tim is just walking us through the process. A little nervous about it, but also really excited to be working with uh, with Tim Carbone, a great, fantastic musician from one of our favorite bands, Railroad Earth, um, has graciously decided to come out and produce it. One of my favorite things to do when I'm producing, um, and, and it's kind of a necessary element, is uh, producing bands that haven't that don't have a whole lot of studio experience. And they allowed me to uh, to do what I do best with very little uh, fuss or muss, and you know it was pretty much how it you know it went down very easily, and we all it was a great experience. They have a kind of an interesting sound. It's different than the other Colorado bluegrass sounds. Um, there's more of a rock element, and there's also this other twisted sort of like electronica thing that they kind of morph into. Anybody who knows Tim out there, he, he's cracking the whip on us. He's, he's making it making it go, and we couldn't do this without him. Um, so I, we'll be done with it in January. It will be done, but then we're going to spend some time shopping at the labels, getting everything ready. you got to build up the hype for it a little bit and, and get it going. So I, I probably don't anticipate seeing uh, the actual album hitting until probably April. album is uh, all original material. Um, most of it um, worked on and refined over the years of this band, um, you know, just on the road playing gigs. Um, it's our first big studio project. The album's called All Night Drive. Uh, all Night Drive is a, uh, a track on the, on the record that we're really happy with, uh, the tune that Patrick Seitz wrote, our mandolin player. And uh, we named the record after that song because uh, we do quite a bit of all-night driving. 
the, the, the so-called all-night drive is something that we've come to expect and to dread. Uh, it's in the van after the show and it's driving through the night, you know, so we've kind of perfected the art of the all-night drive. This is our, you know, this is our big, our big push for it. So, hopefully, obviously, whoever willing will, you know, be able to, be able to get it started and, and really, really take off. A band is a group of musicians with disparate tastes and different backgrounds and, and uh, um, skill sets. And you know, we come together, and it's really we. If you're not having fun, there's no reason to do it. So we like to make sure we're all having fun.